Hi guys, today I want to show you how to make this slide up text and heading animation and I think it looks really cool and professional and clean so let's see how we can make this happen. This is what it looks like. Okay, so we have, I'm just going to close all of these um, sections over here and this portfolio section is the one we're going to be working with so I'm going to open it all up. Um, we have a grid right here and um, I created a grid with two columns and two rows. Also my screen um, is really small so that's why everything is like not the way it is in the user view. So yeah, <laughs> you just do it like by eye. <clears throat> so let's see what we do with this grid. So it's set to static, the position set to static, and then I place this portfolio div block that I called portfolio divi inside each of these, um, inside each of these like rows and columns in, in the grid. So the portfolio div is set to relative, which is important to note. The size is, the height is set to 270 pixels. And these are some of the other settings. Inside this div block, I have my heading. Uh, the heading is set to absolute. And um, these are some of the settings for the heading. To flip it kind of like 90 degrees, I went to 2D and 3D transition transforms. And I just rotated it um, 90 degrees over here. Um, under the heading, I have my image. So, yeah, this is the size of my image. It's 85% width. Maximum width is at 100%. And that's it. And under the image, I have my color div block. It's going to be this div block. Um, so, I just set the color to black. I rounded the borders a little bit, 10 pixels. Um, and this is the size, it's 70% width, 60 pixels height, and the position is on absolute, and please make sure to set the z-index to 1, so it doesn't overflow, so it just comes on top of this image. Okay, and these are some more settings for this color div block. Inside this color div block, I have a button div block, it's this one. Um, so this is pretty much a square, 40 by 40 pixels, um, with rounded circles. So the borders are 20 pixels rounded. Uh, inside, I place this little transparent image of a, like a menu icon that I got on Canva. So you are free to do that as well. Under that, I have this view project text. Nothing special about that. And... Um, this is interesting, um, the heading and the text block, that's what's going to be inside when we open our color div block. So uh, they're hidden at the moment because they're gonna, I'm going to show them, like I'm going to select them to show once the interaction is in action. But just for now, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, okay, so here is this heading, just in the white so you can see it, but if I change the color to like red, you are going to see it. Okay, um, so yeah, so I'm just going to hide it again because we don't need it. Okay, and um, yeah, just make sure to hide this heading and then the text block, you got to hide it as well. But this is the text block, I'm going to show it to you guys here. So I'm going to hide this. Um, so now we're going to go to, to the color div, or no, actually to the button div, because when the user is going to be clicking on the button, that's when the interaction is going to start. Okay, so this is, we start an element trigger mouse click animation. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys how I did my animation. This I called it mouse click. So... Pretty much you got to select the color div and select the action. The action is going to be size. And these are my settings for this action. Zero delay, 0 0.7 duration, linear easing. 
what we what we do have to do is uh, put our height to 250 pixels so or just just as much as you're gonna need your text for um, this is enough to show my text so this is what I selected um, then um, I selected my view project text and the action that's happening here is hide show so I make it disappear so pretty much this is what we're doing here we hide this text so just like our text block and our head and our heading were hidden at the beginning we hide this view project text when the interaction is happening okay and here's our text block <laughs> we start our hide show action over here um, all of the actions are starting with previous action, by the way, just one thing to note. And the display is set to here, show, pretty much, <laughs> for this element. Uh, 0 0.8 delay and 0 duration for this element. Then I also wanted to move my text a little bit so it kind of slides from the bottom. That's why I put it to minus 10 pixels over here. And um, also 0 0.8 delay and 0 0.5 duration for the text block. Um, here comes our heading. Um, so the delay is at 0 0.8, 0 duration, and display is set to show. So yeah, let's save this one and let's preview. This is what it looks like. Or just, um, if you can see there is text is a little bit, you just got to drag it a little higher and I would do that. I will <laughs> manually. I'm going to adjust the, um, the borders, the margins. Okay, so let's work on our hover. Okay, sorry, not hover out, but click out animation. Mouse click to. This is what I called it. So what we're doing here is we select our color div block and we start our size animation, size action. The settings are delay is at zero and the duration is at 0 0.7. Same for easing, same linear for all of them. The height is at 60 pixels for this one. Then we select our text block and we start our hide slash show action. This time we hide our text block because this is when the the div block closes and when we click out so we don't want to see the text anymore the delay is at 0 0.3 and then our duration is at 0 then um, I also wanted to do the opacity you don't have to do that it's just like an option yeah so the delay is at 0 0.3 for the opacity action for the text block and the duration is 0 0.5 um, here we put it at zero opacity. Now let's move on to our heading. This is where we hide our heading. Um, as the div block is, clo is closed, once again, the delay is at 0 0.3 and zero duration. And now our view project um, text button comes back. So we just set the display to show. Delay is at 0 0.3, zero duration looks good let's save this and let's see what what it looks like okay or we can just do it like this um here so let's click on our button uh perfect yeah actually our text does fit <laughs> all of it it just um my screen is really small so i think that's the reason because when i close it it gets even smaller so everything just gets kind of cramped up Anyways, I hope that I help you guys because I think this is a really clean looking, like very nice animation. So yeah, feel free to use this. Ask me any questions you want. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you guys.